Let's have a look at line spacing in Affinity Photo and on the iPad. Now you can see I've managed to squeeze it all on the screen. Um, and this is an iPad Mini 5, I might add, not your average size iPad. Well, certainly not the larger one. So if I can do it on this, you can do it on anything. Now line spacing um, is, a, is an old name for the space between two lines of text that were typed on a typewriter. Even before then, in, in print shops and print houses and newspapers, it was called leading. It refers to the distance between the base of one line and the base of the line above it. Um, it all depends on readability. So I don't want to get into too much technical detail. You can find uh, very technical descriptions of this on my YouTube channel uh, under Affinity Publisher. For the sake of this one, I've got a, a document done in Affinity Photo. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's a photo designer or publisher. You want your text to look good and be readable. Now, regardless of the, um, the text size here and the document size, let's see if I can see what size the document is. Let's just select the move for the moment, resize the document. The document displayed is 105 millimeters by 148 millimeters. Uh, I'll just cancel that because we really don't want to, to do that. And you can see the text outline there, the area I'm going to type in. Scrolls off the bottom of the screen because there's way more text below there yet. I started typing up the top here and I pasted this text in here. Now the thing is you can see there are two different line spacings here. There's that one there and that one there and that's even a different text. Let's see if we can discover what's going on here. So select the text tool down the bottom. You can see because I last tapped in there it's Arial, Regular and 12 point. That's where the cursor is up the top there. Let's highlight that. It's Arial, Regular and 12 point. Now what I want to do is set the line spacing because whether it's photo or publisher, you want your text to be readable. But line spacing is not single line, double line, line and a half, um, any of those old fashioned things. What you should learn to do, even if you're never going to use publisher, is select the text studio here. I'll move my keyboard out of the way for a moment because we've got 12 point regular and aerial there. That's what that text is. But how do we know what the line spacing is or the leading? It's really, it really is some use. Leading is spelled L-E-A-D-I-N-G. It's not leading, it's leading as in bedding. Okay, you would think it would be under typography, but it's not. Typography is mm, something different. We're looking at positioning, and I suppose you could refer to that as positioning the text. We've got kerning, which I'll explain in another episode, tracking, another episode, baseline, zero points, another episode. We're talking about leading, and what we've got here is leading of 14 point, oh, and I just moved it, 14.4. Okay? Now you might ask, why is it set at 14.4? This is not what um, Affinity Photo will default the measurement to. Affinity will default to, if you have that kind of text, let me find if I can, oh, I can't start it now because what we've got, we've set that. Affinity's defo default leading or leading, leading override is just a small percentage of the actual text. So a 12 point text, 12 point regular aerial will be in the order of 12.4, I think it is, which is actually too small. 
Let me see if I can put another frame text in here. We'll just put some frame text there because you can you might be able to see the cursor just flicking in there. Now, I'll get rid of this because all I want to show you is that it's aerial, it's 12 point, it's regular text, 12 point regular. What's the default positioning? 12.4. Now, you can look at that and you think, okay, that's not too bad. It's, um, it's done for a reason. Um, and you can see in the text under there, Line spacing is commonly measured as a percentage of font size. Conventional wisdom is that line spacing is 130% to 150%, which is ideal for readability. In fact, it's anything from about 120 to 200. I like to set at 120 usually for normal text. Now, how do you arrive at 120? Well, if you've got a calculator, and nearly everybody has, I would suspect, these days. If you've got 12-point text, 120% of that is 12 multiplied by 1.2. Now, I don't have a calculator built in here, but you can, you can arrive at that yourself. It's probably nearer to... Where is my calculator? C A L C. 12 point text times 1.2 equals 14.4. Fancy that. Who would have thought that there you go? That's 12.4, but that text up here is 14. Did you see where I tapped? I tapped in there. It's 14.4 because that's what I set it to. If we go back to this text box where it's 12.4, you can't see much difference there at the moment. Although if you look closely, you can see it. 12.4 text you will find usually is spaced too closely together. Or in other words... The line spacing, the default line spacing is not wide enough. 14.4 gives you a little bit more. Let's see if we can move that up there. There we go, and it's in line with the other one. You can see the word fox is just a bit closer to the quick brown. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So the quick brown is the top line and fox jumped is the next line but it's a little higher up let's set it to 14.4 14 14.4 14 and there it is it's exactly exactly in line with the other line of text this is important to remember you can then put that box anywhere you like and you know that that and that are exactly where you want it. Let's have a look at this line of text here. Eighteen point two. And when you can see down the bottom it's Jim Sands Regular, which is a font I don't have on here. It's seventeen point and the leading is 18.4. 17 point regular and positioned at 18.4 leading. So the line, the line spacing there, if you like, is much higher 
than the one above it. Now, one of the things you have to watch out for is that you may actually move that, is that depending on your font type, now let's see if I can, depending on your font type, your leading should change. Now that's Arial font, regular and 12 point. Let's see if we can find something different, something that is obviously something that is obviously a different type of font. Something that will have large, uh, something that will have large um, lettering. Let's try that one. Now you can see that's still 14.4 and it's still 12 point. It's Kushan script, regular 12 point. But because, because the letters above and below the line are the way they are, you might need to increase that quite a bit. Let's, let's have a look at our calculator. So we clear that off. 12 point. Now remember you can multiply by 120% and uh, some people say 160 up to 200. I like to think of about 140 which is 1.4 uh, 12 point font times 1.4 Four. So 16.8 is a good leading measurement. We've got that selected. 16.8. And that's just moved the lines apart a little bit. Much easier to read, is it not? Not by very much, but it's still, you could still say it's single line spacing if that's the way you want to talk. But because you've overridden the default it is now 16.8 instead of 14.4 the text is much more easy to read okay you can do all sorts of interesting things with leading if you want to just a quick brown fox and that's as far as we're going to get because i've got something in the way We've got line spacing there, and I've got that slightly back the front. What I meant to do, line spacing is commonly, you go to the line under the thing you want as the heading, and make that. You can see how you've separated out the first sentence, line spacing is commonly, you've separated it from the rest of the text, but the rest of the text remains the same. So that becomes your heading and your text carries on there. You can use that for emphasis. There are all sorts of lovely little tricks you can use leading for. And I hope that gives you a good example of some of them.